We have three big learning objectives for today's course. We are going to describe the different levels of authority in tax law. So one of the things that we got to understand straight off is that not every piece of tax authority is equal in weight. Um, some pieces of authority we put more emphasis on, more weight on, as opposed to other pieces of authority. So part of what we're trying to do today is understand the different levels of authority that are out there. We're going to differentiate between the different types of administrative authority in tax law and we're going to identify the different courts that hear cases involving tax law. Generally speaking, our tax code has uh, kind of at the very tippy top is the Internal Revenue Code itself, so Title 26. So we have the Internal Revenue Code at the very top of the heap. Nothing trumps the Internal Revenue Code itself. But once you get kind of beyond that, underneath what you see is, is you see two different uh, types of authority. You have administrative authority and also uh, judicial authority. So uh, judicial authority really being the, the courts and the court system. Both of these different types of authority, administrative authority and uh, judicial authority, go into our understanding of tax code and each of them have a certain degree of weight that we place um, on each of these pieces of authority. So we're gonna learn all about these different types of what we call primary authority.